We're going to begin today's presentation with Mr. Honor Kinsey. Good morning. Thank you all for coming. My career path I've chosen is physical therapy. Well, education is needed. A high school diploma is needed, and a doctorate in physical therapy is also needed. I plan to require my doctorate in physical therapy at the University of Tennessee in Chattanooga, where once I do that, uh, you have to complete a test, and it consists of 250 questions, and it is offered by the federal state boards of physical therapy, and you take it through the National Physical Therapy Exam. What is the pay? The pay usually ranges from $78,000 to $110,000, uh, making about $46,50 an hour, and averages about to $7,500 monthly. You may ask, why is a salary difference? And those depend on a few factors. Either your skills, your experience you have, your employer that you have, or the bonuses and tips. What are the benefits? Health insurance is offered. 401k or IRA, paid time off, and flexible scheduling. You may have to work some on weekends, just depends on your schedule. What are the work hours? The work hours generally range between 8 and 10 hours a day, starting at about 8 and ending at about 5 p.m. <coughs> Monday through Friday. What are positions and companies located? Obviously, there are locations all over the United States, but I've named a few that are pretty local, such as Premier Physical Therapy in Benton, Erlanger Physical Therapy in Cleveland, and Benchmark Physical Therapy in Cleveland. And there are also some closer, like Car Basin Health Rehabilitation Center in Ducktown, and one that I would like to work at one day, PT Solutions in Blue Ridge, Georgia. How will the career portfolio help me? Consists of my resume, letter of recommendation, my ACT scores, my personal philosophy, and my college acceptance letters. And it's just generally a reflection of what all I've accomplished in my four years of high school. Is there an internship? So this, this answer may vary. Yes, it does require an internship, but it really just depends on who your employer is and who you're employed through from, how or like how you obtain that internship. So it really just depends on who your boss is and such as like PT Solutions, they, have, they may have a different internship rather than like Erlanger. Why well, choose this career? I've always grown up loving to help people, uh, s making any chance I get to brighten somebody else's day. It's a, it's a win in, my, in, my, in my, my, my heart. I've had to struggle and overcome to get better. I was actually in physical therapy twice in my life with my right knee and my left ankle. And the satisfaction they gave me and being able to really walk really good again because I was I got hurt really pr got hurt pretty bad and I didn't know I'd ever be able to bounce back like I could. So they showed me that really anything's possible. My budget in the blue is my controllable, the purple is my fixed, and my net income is my green. My balance is in the black. I'm currently not employed but I was employed all summer long due to car issues. I've taken the time to just really focus on my school and complete applications so I can get myself out of the little small balance that I am and raise it up higher. Thank you. Do you have any questions? I actually have talked to, to, to some because I actually, the first time I went to physical therapy was my eighth grade year, and I was kind of eager to know more about it even then. So, and it was during quarantine, so it was just me and my physical therapist one on one all the time. So, she'd always give me a reflection of like her road to become a physical therapist, and I thought it was pretty inspiring. That's a great question. I'm not too. I'm not quite sure right now, but I'll get back to you on that. Have you ever had a job shadow? I've never job shadowed, but I've 
reached out and asked, like, Yes, ma'am. Thank you.